Hello, and welcome to another daily MS Office lesson. I will be using Microsoft Word 2013. We will learn how to create paragraph styles, and then we will learn how to create character styles. The new style will only apply to what you're on at that moment. So you may have to apply your new style to other areas. So let me show you how to make a new style. I'm going to scroll down and there's an area here called video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. This is a paragraph, even though it's one line, it's a paragraph. Um, and I may want to modify this by adding a new style. Now, this is something important. If I click on any text, I'm on a word inside of here. As long as I apply a paragraph style, it will apply to that whole paragraph. Even if I was in here and I was on the word elements, if I apply a paragraph style, it doesn't apply to just that word. It will apply to that whole paragraph. Okay. That's a, called a paragraph style. A character style is if I selected that word and created the character style, it would only affect those characters that are highlighted. See, a paragraph style will automatically format or style the entire paragraph. Character style will only work if you highlight or select the word or words that you want to apply them to. We're going to do both of those today. So the first one's going to be a paragraph style. And since it's a paragraph style, I don't have to select in. I don't have to select the whole paragraph. I can just click anywhere inside. Now, in the style area, the best way to start a new style is to open up the style panel. And that basically means that over here, you're not going to use the up or the down or the more button. But right under the more button, under the more button, is this arrow. And by clicking this arrow, you have opened up what we call the style sheet or the style panel. Now, this panel is actually covering some of my text. I can't see the words because it's covering it. Now, that's okay. Take the title of the style. And of course, when I put my mouse on it, it's a big, thick four-headed arrow, click and hold that title, drag your mouse further to the right, further to the right until it pops in on the right side. And you can release your mouse. And now that is called a docked panel. Now what's cool is if I turn off my styles, which is this X right here, if you turn off your styles, and later on decide, oh, I want to turn them back on. Well, again, turning them back on is this button right here. Click it one time, and since you docked it last time, it will stay docked. If it was floating last time, it will stay floating. Very cool. Now, we're not going to pick a style. We're creating a new style. And that means way down here, way down here, are three icons. The first one is says new style so this is how you create a new style i click on it and the first thing it says is what am i going to call this well I, these are like quotations to me right i'm going to call it my quote you can call it my quote or i can say my quotation but that sounds good and of course i like to put the styles that i create with the word my in front of them to let me know that these are my styles, the ones that, I, and they come all together, they'll be sorted. Then it says what type of style. Now, you remember there's two types. There's what? Paragraph. And the other is, that's right, character. Paragraph and character. Well, guess what? There's, that's not the only two. If I click on that, there's paragraph, character, linked, table, and list. We're only interested in the first two for right now. So I'm going to choose paragraph. Now, I'm just going to start making modifications to this. 
let's see, for a paragraph, I think that uh, the text should be easy to read. Uh, I'll do Verdana. Uh, maybe the size 14, just a little bit bigger than the font size. Uh, definitely centered. Uh, maybe even indented. Maybe even indented. So I'll do my indent uh, right here. Now, here's a weird part. If you look at it, every time I click it, it indents it. But did you notice it doesn't indent any? It doesn't indent on the right side. I mean, if I want to have this, I don't want it, you know, so it's just indented on the left. I want to indent on the left and on the right side. So I'm going to literally unindent this and put this back to the way it was. And I am now going to show you where all of the styles. Remember what I said? This area right here is called the basic styles. There's so much more you can do. And you do this by going down to this word. Let me actually move this up because I need you to see it. To this word, format. Format. Lower left corner of the box. When you click on format, you can format the font or the paragraph or other things. Now, I'm interested right now in paragraph because paragraph is where I would go to increase the left and the right side. So notice right here my indention for the left and the right. And I'm just going to push this over, maybe do a point. Let's do a 1.1, 1 1.2 on both sides. I'm just picking the number off the top of my head. That's all it is. <laughs> so a 1.2. And I'm going to hit OK. And you can see that it's indented on the left side and indented on the right side. Now, I want to probably put a border around it, maybe color it a little bit. Well, again, I have to go back to the Format tab, Format button. Click the format button. We're going to go down to borders. Borders. Click on borders. And we're going to do on the left side a box border. Just a normal box border. I could also do a shadow border. Make it look a little bit more fancier. I think I will. <laughs> I'm going to do a shadow border. Over to the right hand side it says well what type of border do I want. And I have many different types. I think I like for today, maybe, maybe this one, maybe this one. You can see how it's going to look. Oh, the shadow looks like it's going to be too much. Let me go back to just box. Then I can decide the thickness of that border, and that's right here um, under width. Width would choose a thickness. Um, I can do it real thick, but I think that's going to make it look just way too horrible. I'm going to probably choose maybe something called one and a quarter, one and a half. Okay. Now, above width is color. I could also change the color of the border. Change the color of the border. Maybe this color. Now, last, I want to put some color inside of this box. I do this up on the top on the shading tab. We were on the borders tab. Now I'm switching to the Shadings tab. And on the Shadings tab, where it says No Fill, I'm just going to change it to a color. Understand the text color is dark. It's probably black right now. So I'm going to choose a light color. Maybe even a, I think light blue sometimes looks nice, but I'll choose a light whatever this is. <laughs> now I'm going to hit OK. And you can see how it's going to look. It looks really nice. Now, for some odd reason, it looks like it's too close to the text above it. And we remember that I can take care of that with this button here. I can push that down a little bit. Okay? So it's kind of nice. So I think it's going to look nice. Let's find out. I'm going to hit OK. And bam! It applies it. And it does look nice, actually. It really looks nice. Now, I have two other quotations, and I want them to look the same way. Now, if I scroll down, my first quotation is, 
right here where it says video provides a powerful way to nice quotation i want to modify this quotation paragraph and again it is a paragraph so that it looks the same as my style i created i click anywhere inside of there and on the right side sorry if i scroll up on the right side you'll notice that my quote is there now usually when people hover over a style they're like oh oh there's a down arrow i have to click it no you don't just click on the words my quote and look it actually turned this into a quote let me scroll down further because there is one more here there it is. It says reading is easier in the new reading view. So again, I'm just going to click on that paragraph over in my styles panel. Click the words, my quote, bam. Oh, I'm telling you, this is looking nice. Now that is a paragraph style. Let's now do a character style. If I scroll upwards, you will notice that there is some text here. Here it is, where I actually show the word, word, and then I describe it, and then I, there's publisher, and then I describe what publisher is, and the same with access, and the same with Excel. I want to modify these words, not the entire paragraph, just these words. So I'm going to select the word, word. I'm going to go to the right side where my styles are. I'm going to click the first button called New Style. I'm going to give this a new name. I'm going to call it My, oh, what is that? Uh, Word Excel, My Program. My Program. I call it My Program. It goes on programs. So I call it My Program. I could call it My Heading or My whatever. <laughs> and then underneath that, it is not a paragraph style. I'm doing a character style. And again, the same things. You can either modify it using your basic formatting or use your format button to get and modify all those. I'm going to just do basic formatting, make life easier. Let me choose, a, I'll choose Berlin Sands FB. I'll also choose the font size 16, make the font a little bit bigger than the words. Notice it looks like it's doing it to the whole thing. But because it's a character style, it will only apply it to the characters highlighted. I want to keep that in mind. I will underline it and I will color it. I am so good at picking colors. Um, and I think it's okay. I'm going to hit okay. And look at that. It only applies to those words. Now, I'm going to select the word publisher. And of course, the easiest way of selecting a word is just to double click on it. Over on the right side in your style area, there is my program. Click my program. Bam. Character styles will work on the characters selected. Now, if I single click in the word, if I single click in the word access, that's my next program, and come over here and click on my program, you will see it does apply to it. Because even single clicking in a word selects the word. Okay, one more. I'm going to do Excel. Of course, I like to select it. I like to see it. And then finally, my program. In today's video, I showed you how to create a paragraph style. We did that with our wonderful quotations right there. Then I showed you how to apply that style to existing areas of your document because new styles don't automatically apply themselves. So you have to apply them. Then I showed you how to create a character style and how to also apply those styles to your document. All right, go ahead and leave a comment below about this video. Um, 
Also do a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.